So another video that uh, is kind of special to me, and I've been thinking about this video for uh, quite a while now, and uh, you know, a while back I gave you guys my uh, top 10 bands in my collection that are favorites of mine, and there's one band that I haven't touched on as far as doing a special show <laughs> episode and, and talking about uh, specifically, and that is my number four band in my list, and it's uh, Depeche Mode. So Depeche Mode is a band that I got into many, many years ago, and uh, you know, a departure for me because I got in for a while that I got into that 80s sound, New Order, um, Tears for Fears, Depeche Mode, and Depeche Mode stayed with me as a very influential, great band because they have such a cool sound and uh, so many neat twists and turns in their sound and, and their music. But I think the word that describes Depeche Mode to me the best is just the coolness that they are. Um, you know, they're a band that's been around. They started in like 1980. First album came out in 1981. 15 albums later, they're still standing. Um, they've gone through some different changes. Some people left the band early, um, you know, and branched off. And then they were a threesome, three fellas for, uh, for many decades. And then we lost Andy Fletcher as the first of those three big guys to fall. Uh, prematurely died and you're left with Martin Gore and Dave Gahan. Now Dave Gahan, I've seen Depeche Mode three times uh, live and Dave Gahan to me is um, right up there as one of the very best front men in rock music and uh, live music that you're going to come across. The guy is just amazing, great voice, cool vibe, owns the stage, owns the crowd. Martin Gore is uh, you know, his his sidekick, the main, not the main, but certainly one of the main brains of Depeche Mode's sound. Uh, Martin's like the secret weapon of the band. He uh, writes a lot of the stuff and keyboards, vocal, guitar. The guy's quite a talent. So Depeche Mode. So the reason I, well, how I wanted to mark this band is... Uh, how am I going to do this? Do, you know, I, I like to do different features, but I do like my lists as you, anyone that's watched my videos will, <laughs> will, uh, will say, I do like my lists. I'm a list guy. I always was, uh, you know, it's whatever. I have fun compiling them and spent some time compiling this list. So I've chosen to pick and, and, uh, present my top 25 Depeche Mode songs from their discography. Uh, I have a lot of Depeche Mode on CD, a lot of it because when I was uh, collecting CDs, they were a big band to me. I do have uh, Depeche Mode, this amazing double live album that's very famous called 101. And uh, that features a couple of the tracks that I'm going to mention that are, it's a really good live album, very famous. And uh, yeah, Depeche Mode, one of my absolute favorites. Uh, it just, they're still making great music. The last record they put out, Memento Mori was uh, you know, really an excellent record. It was in my top favorites of 2023. Um, yeah, their first record with Dave and Martin leading the show uh, without Andy Fletcher in the mix. Andy was the keyboard guy and uh, it was a fantastic record. It is a fantastic record. So let's get going here. 25, top 25 Depeche Mode songs. So uh, number 25 is from that newest record that they put out, Memento Mori, and uh, it's track number nine on this record. So it's a, I like a lot of their, um, what I would call deep cuts. There's, you know, uh, there's some big songs you'll, you'll see m mentioned, but there's some really great deep cuts. So the song at number 25 for me is a song called People Are, Are Good. What a cool song. Uh, you know, it's got this dark kind of sound to it, cool bass sound, but this cool lyric. Um, Depeche Mode definitely speaks a lot in their lyrics and their songs about what's going on in the world. And, you know, they have this uh, cool vibe that touches on feelings and the soul that we all kind of are going through. So People Are Good is number 25. Number 24 is from this album called Exciter. Very good Depeche Mode album. 
And uh, the song is Good Night Lovers. Just a beautiful song. You know, one of those hidden gems in the, uh, you know, it's the last song on the album and it's uh, just a great, beautiful song. Amazing. Number 23 is a really big song of theirs. It was uh, from an album called Some Great Re Reward. It's an old album, but it's on this collection. I've had this collection of very, <laughs> you can see it's an old kind of cool collection of their early stuff. And the song is Somebody. Um, just a great, beautiful ballad type song. And uh, I enjoy that song very much. So that's my number 23. My number 22 is also on this collection. And it is a song called Dreaming of Me from the album Speak and Spell, another old song. It's that catchy kind of old Depeche Mode sound with the keyboards. Pretty cool, fun little song. Um, so the next song is a song from an album called Black Celebration. It is featured on this amazing live double album that I have fairly recently added to my collection. I've wanted it a long time. It's really good. And the song is Stripped. What a cool song that is. Also from featured on this and from the album People Are People is one of their biggest popular single type of songs that was, you know, really big back in the day called People Are People. And, you know, listening to that song as I was preparing for this video, listening to my stuff, uh, you know, really closely again, what a great song. People Are People. What a great song and what a great lyric. Hits it right on, you know, they're, they kind of cut to the chase with their lyrics, that's for sure. They don't fool around. They don't, they don't sh shy away from addressing what really should be said. So People Are People is number 20 on my list. Pretty great song to be sitting at number 20. Uh, number 19 is from the album Spirit. A good album. Uh, I saw this tour twice, uh, this, this album tour. And the song is the last song on the album, another last song called Fail. What a great song. And it's sort of like a, a condemnation about the situation that this world is in. So, you know, uh, pretty poignant type of song. Uh, the next song, number 18, is a great, beautiful type of song that... Um, yeah, it's such a beautiful song. It's got this gorgeous string arrangement and orchestral sound. And it's One Caress at number 18 from the uh, album Songs of Faith and Devotion. A very good album. Big album. Number 17. We go back to our uh, old collection I've had forever. It's from the album Speak and Spell. Just Can't Get Enough. That's a big, big song of theirs. Uh, fun song, bouncy type of song. Uh, a lot of fun. Okay, we touch on one of the great records in rock history, Violator. And the song is Halo at number 16. A cool, just a cool type of song. And uh, it's got this cool sound, dark kind of sound. Very cool. Number 16, from the album Ultra, another song that is a really cool song. Uh, uh, the song at number 15 for me is Home. Just a beautiful, beautifully sung song, really good. Number 15 is from the Back to the Album Exciter. And it is a song called I Feel Loved. It's got this cool, upbeat type of sound. It's very, very vibey. It's very dance-oriented. And uh, yeah, it's, it's really cool. So that's at my number 14, I Feel Loved from Exciter. Number 13. What a great song. I this was a big hit of theirs from the album Spirit. And a uh, huge hit. Great song, great lyric, and, uh, you know, you can't help but to uh, get a little excited and feel kind of, you know, stand up against the uh, situation many of us feel that we're in with the world and the economy and 
government and it's a song called where's the revolution it's a great song off the album spirit and that is my number 13. my number 12 is from ultra and it's a really another one of these cool kind of vibey but also fast dancey song and it's called it's no good and it is from ultra it is my number 12 song excellent song number 11 is a, a really great and a big single of theirs from the album Songs of Faith and Devotion. And the song is Walking in My Shoes at number 11. All right, we're going to enter into our top 10. Some really big, big songs. Many of these songs, uh, if people are sort of on the fringe of Depeche Mode, you don't know the band that much. Many of these songs that I'm mentioning, certainly in this top 10 are songs you're like, oh, I know that song, or, you know, you would know them from the radio. I mean, I listened to uh, Q107 for all these years, but also 102.1 The Edge played Depeche Mode a lot, and that's really what got me, uh, I guess, back in the day hooked on Depeche Mode, but they're, they're such a great band. Honestly, in my view, one of the, one of the great bands, certainly in the modern era of rock and roll, and, you know, I mean, some people plant them in the dance oriented scene and synth scene yes but their variety of sound and their variety of songs and albums is what makes them last this long and still have such a punch so my number 10 song is an old song from an album called some great reward and it's a uh, an old song that's been that's been on this collection of mine i've had for a long time it's a cool song called blasphemous rumors what a cool song it tells a pretty unique story inside the song so that's my number 10. my number nine is a song from an album called music for the masses pretty big song i love this song just a great song it's on this great collection and it's a, a song titled the things you said what a great fun song that is number eight is, uh, yeah, <laughs> number eight, one of the really big singles that they had ever, really. Um, a cut from this fantastic album, and the song is Personal Jesus. So that's one of their big hits. I love Personal Jesus, one of those songs that you hear, you've heard so much if you follow the band, but uh, a great cut, great, great. Number eight, also from Violator, number seven, what a great vibey song, World in My Eyes. What a great, cool vibe song that is. From the live album that I have, and it's from um, an album, an old album called Construction Time Again. And uh, it is a song called Everything Counts. And it's on this, featured on this, and it's, what a great, cool, old Depeche Mode, really one of those songs that define their sound. So that's Everything Counts at number six. Now we're down to top five. Top five. So yeah, this is a song that was a single that came out many, many years ago. It's been on this collection of mine and it is the song Shake the Disease. A big song of theirs, a single, and uh, another cool vibey kind of song. All right, my number four. And, uh, you know, we're talking some big, big, big time songs that I listen to a lot. Um, I'm a big Depeche Mode fan, so I get into them. They're a kind of band that, uh, yeah, they got a depth to them. That's, uh, that's why I listen to them all these years. But the song is off this latest album, Momento Mori. And it was their big first song, their single and man, what a great song. This is my number four Depeche Mode song, and the song is Ghosts Again. So it's a direct song related to Andy Fletcher's death, and um, yeah, it doesn't hide away that how they feel, and Dave sings it beautifully. It's really great. From Violator at number three, always been one of my favorite tracks. Certainly when I do my top at some point, I'll do a top numerous songs that, of all time for me, favorites. And Paul C. of Truth is is got to be probably considered from Violator. Such a great song. 
All right, from the album Music for the Mass is an old album, and it's on this great collection. And it's a really cool song. Number two for me is Never Let Me Down Again. What a great song. Another classic Depeche Mode sounding song. And my number one Depeche Mode song is from Violator. Such a great album. Number one, Enjoy the Silence. You know, a song that uh, is, it features so many of the great traits of Depeche Mode, that, that rich, deep type of moody sound, but with those little moments of Depeche Mode sound with the keyboards and intricate background sounds such a great song enjoy the silence at number one so that's my depeche mode 25 song countdown i'd be curious if you want to um make a comment surely there's some depeche mode people out there that watch my stuff because uh you know they're a great band you know what probably certainly for me my favorite there's two that are right up there but depeche mode are my favorite uh from that era of music that introduced us to using synths and keyboard sounds, but they're a great rock band. Don't, don't mistake it. They're a great rock band. One of the great rock bands, modern rock bands ever. Depeche Mode, like and subscribe if you uh, haven't yet, and uh, I'd appreciate that. I'm going to keep making videos. Um, my next video, I was curious. I was curious, so I do like my list, <laughs> obviously, and I was curious with my collection. Uh, I'm slowing down what I'm adding because I've got a lot of stuff and I don't have a lot of time or money to add to it and time to listen to it all, but I enjoy my stuff. I'm getting pretty picky, pickier than ever about what to add. So I'm slowly expanding, but I was curious. So I took a peek and uh, I do have a loose list now. I'm going to show you guys my next uh, video. I'm going to show you my, my uh, collection of what's the most in my collection. So, you know, I'll show you guys a collection of uh, a rundown of who occupies the most uh, spots in my album and CD collection. And we'll, I'll show you a list of that. So that's my next video. Thanks a lot for uh, sitting through this with me and uh, listen to some Depeche Mode. Check it out again. They're such a great band. Okay, guys, see you later. Have a good day and uh, enjoy the Oscars. If you guys are watching the Oscars tonight, see ya. Bye.